Hey, all the wolves here. <laughs> all right. It's lunchtime for me for it's Thursday. And I came here for lunch. Because I got my books yesterday. Didn't have time yesterday to do it. Didn't have time this morning to do it. Brought my books and my backings to work to do it there. Didn't have time to do it there. So I came here. I got my books. I got my backs. I had everything together. I was like, oh. Anyways. Hey, everyone. All those here. Okay, let's see if we can get... Why am I in a hole? Okay. All those here for the third, fourth time. All right, let's get this done. Okay? See if it moves again. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Oh, whoops there. Um, let's see if we can get this going, okay? All right. So, all right, before I even start, and I'm already two minutes in, um, this is uh, Tag Out Team Thursday. <laughs> this is the train wreck. Oh, wolf. Um, I picked up my books yesterday, so that was the 20th. Today's the 21st. If you guys didn't know that, now you do. Um, this will be at 7 o'clock. Hopefully, if nothing else goes wrong, now the camera keeps moving up and down. Um, and um, let's get this on. Hold on. Someone has to get back to work. Oh, wait a minute. I got to make sure I get this thing works. Got my books. Uh, okay, that that's a working nail. Okay, we'll find out if this works. Nightwing. 85. Right, so now him and Barbara are fighting. Not each other, together as a team. Uh, <clears throat> to everybody who, I mean, this is a good book, good series. We all know that. And that's what we say every week, right? Um, but I have one gripe with last week's book. Um,. Her costume is kind of like, instead of being Batgirl, she's kind of like Bat Granny. Or uh, she's good, she's ready to go work on uh, the Batgirl motorcycle or something she has. Because what is this outfit? It's like a one-piece bag. Um, I, I don't understand. If someone can explain this. So maybe it was in the um, in last week's last month's story, but. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, form fitting and see every nook and cranny, like you know, like you know. But um, this costume sucks. I'm just telling you. So um, but the book itself, book series is great. And if they did explain why she looks like, like she's gonna go tune up a car, um, let me know in the comments, please. Okay, didn't make the deep ink. But it's there. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, somebody please let me know why she looks like that, okay? That costume sucks. Okay. Superman, Son of Kyle, 4. Um, it's a good ride. It's a good read. Um, so, you know, everybody knows now that, he, you know, his book is bisexual or whatever. He swings. And uh, I haven't read this one yet. And I they used that off. Uh, I don't know what was her name. It was on a chest. Flatliner, maybe? Flat something or other? Anyway, to blow up the Kent house, you know, and so we don't know what happened. Um, good read. You know, it's Taylor and Tim's. Add it again. Pick it up. Okay. Thor, number six, number 18. Okay. So, um, Two books ago, he was with the pop. Last month, he's with the mommy and the sister. Now he's with the with his biology uh, his biology uh, friend from high school. Do they have high school in Asgard? I don't know. Um, I guess he failed because he didn't cut it open. So um, we'll see how this goes. And I did look at the back of this. I did open it up real quick, and uh, made me smile. Okay, so here we go. 
If you want to see what made me smile, pick up the book and read it. Okay. <clears throat> Batman and Bigsby. Oh, versus Bigsby. So I guess this guy's from Fable. He's a... Arr! He's another wolf. <laughs> I don't know if he's an old... Yeah, I guess he's older than I am, right? Okay, anyways. Um, it was an alright read. Uh, the art... Uh, the art is back and forth. I don't know. I don't have with the art, but the reading was pretty good. Bill Willingham, Brian Le Le uh, Level. That's uh, uh, all right. But the story's better than the the story's better than the art. Well, at least for me, it is. Let me see if I can find you something. Uh, uh, I don't. I have no clue. But the, uh, the book's pretty good. And it's a black label. Book two, so book one should be out there on the shelves. Pick it up, give it a run. I enjoyed it. Excuse me, sir. Sir and madams. You dudes are going to figure out why uh, they're playing dead bodies over the place. The wolf killings or something. Okay. Legend of the Dark Knight, number six. The last two before this one were one-shots. Uh, the first three was all together. Four or five has been a one-shot. And I think this is also a one-shot deal. Which basically is what, again, I say every every month, this series originally was uh, made up. Short, one-shot, two shots, three shots, four, tequila, I don't know. But, um... I enjoy the setup. I enjoy the way the format is. Different stories, different characters, different issues. Uh, writer. Kulin and Rosenberg. Those are big zoom the out. I like it. I like it with the one shot deal. This way. Okay. Batman 115. Ooh. Oh yeah. Peacemaker X. Um the uh regular Peacemakers now with the sand with the Sandman. Not the Sandman. Scarecrow. What the hell am I talking about? <sighs> it blew up a big part of the town. Molly is working with Batman now. There's a lot going on in this book. Still Tom Taylor? It's Tinian? Yeah. T Onion? Yeah, still him. Ty Onion? <laughs> did, I, did I do that? No, I mean, I didn't do the thing. There you go. Oh, shit. It's already eight and a half minutes. All right, this is from last week. And everybody's loving this book. And I read it and I understand why. This is uh, um, Batman the Imposter. Boom. This is actually a good read. Actually a good art. Um, this is a must. You guys need to pick this up. I know it's a lot of Batman, but you need to pick this up. You really do. <clears throat> you know, some people in the, in, the, in the community, you know, like the idea that he's going to a, a psychiatrist or finding out why he's the way he is. But, uh, it's a damn good read. Okay, if you liked Basket Full of Heads, you're going to love a refrigerator full of heads. <laughs> it's a, it's a, the second part, the second part, second arc. Number one, looking through this, the axe is back. So, um, I loved Basket of Heads. Joe Hill's, uh, Hill House Comics, um, and I go get the, the trade for that. If you can't find the the floppies for the issues, get the trade. It's a good read, and I'm assuming this is also going to be a good read. Ay, oy, oy, oy. I'll tip the book like this. There you go. Um, yeah, pick this up if you haven't. But I haven't, you know, haven't. I'm just a going by what was before. So. 
Okay. Batman Catwoman, number eight. Okay, so I'm loving this read. It bounces around. Feels in, you know, the story bounces around. And it, it, because of that, it, it works. It does. It, that doesn't make any sense. So you basically get like three stories and one going on here. Um, I hope I said that right for you guys. But I really am enjoying this. And it's already number eight. So it's probably better to, if you're not getting it, to get the trade. Because it is a Tom King book. And it's always better to get in the trade if you're number eight, eight books into it. So um, did I do that yet? No. Um, but I am enjoying it. Get the trade. All right, then hurry up. Wake up. Okay. Eat the rich, number three. Um, get two and one. But not, not in order because it's one and two, but that's another story. Um, now she's getting a better understanding of what, you know, it's a contract and what, you know, the reasons why they do what they do. Well, the servants, not the rich, because they're just rich and they're nuts. Um, but, um, yeah, I get it. It's only three in. I think it's probably going to be just a five or a four or five or six. Not sure. Five. It's going to be five. So you got two more issues in. If you can't get it, wait for the trade. Um, eat the rich. Shoot. Fight Girls, number four out of five. All right. So there were ten. Now there's only two. And they're going for the crown. Who's going to be the queen? Um, Frank Cho is doing it. You know, Frank Cho, it's four out of five. So if you're even planning to read this, get the trade. I mean, it's girls, you know, go underwear. I mean, they only wear their the white, tiny whiteies, as you can tell. So it's tiny whiteies all the time. They don't even, you know. I, like, I guess Frank Cho likes girls in tiny whiteies. Don't we all, though? I mean, my, my, I didn't say that. Okay. Not All Robots, number three. Really good read. Mark Russell is, is writing this very well. Uh, robots are basically in charge. It's number three. That's probably another one of those five is right. I don't know what to say. I got two, I less than two minutes here. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, I, I suggest go get the back issues. Pick this up. You know that. Wait for the trade when it comes in. Probably trade. Probably this book's only going to five, maybe six. So it's halfway through. But I suggest from this book from A D W A W A. Get it. Great read. Oh, it looks awesome. See this guy right here? This guy can draw. Mm -mm -mm. Last but not least, because I got a minute left, the death of Doctor Strange number two. I got the Stormbreaker issue because then you end up with that cover. So it's a mystery: who killed Do who killed Doctor Strange? And it's funny because you got Doctor Strange trying to find out who killed Doctor Strange. Watch, I'll show you. Look, old school. This guy's old school. Yeah, me. He's old school. Old school Doctor Strange. Um, so you find out who killed him. Well, you don't find out. You try to solve the, you know, start trying to solve the mystery. Okay, since I got less than half a minute. All right. All right, you guys. I appreciate you guys. Let me babble here for 15 minutes. I know I rushed it. Probably didn't do a great job. But it's a train wreck. Thanks for stopping by. This is Tag Out Team Thursday. Oh, hold on. Let me, I got to hit the button before I got like 52, 53. I appreciate that. Uh, you know, hit the buttons, hit the bells, all that stuff. Later, guys. Thanks.